So here we are in my home. Yesterday we were in your place, and now I want to welcome you to my home, Saks Fifth Avenue here in New York. So the brick of Shaw Ferguson, uh, you were a guy that I gravitated to on the field and off the field when I got here. Again, thanks for having me. What, what have been some of the things that you've seen, kind of the evolution uh, of DeMario Davis in fashion? Think about one of the first times I, we traveled on the team. And you know, fashion, a lot of times people think fashion about clothes, but it's also about accessories as well. One of the first things that you brought in was a pink <laughs> travel bag with, uh, I think, flowers on them. Wow. Pink bag. Roller with flowers on. He that was a bad day. He, he, now, does, he doesn't now, know what I he's never, doing. I never got a chance to really explain that story. <laughs> no matter what, you could never explain that. <laughs> you, people are gonna look at that and say, mm, 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 mm. I'm just happy that uh, you know you you found fashion and it's fun for you. It's supposed to be fun. So here we are in the mecca of sneakers at Saks Fifth Avenue. We call it Sneaks. Basically, it's a curated assortment, probably one of the largest assortments of sneakers anywhere in the country. So we've got brands from Prada to Versace to D Squared. I think you mentioned D Squared yesterday. It was one of the, one of the brands that you liked. Simply because uh, you can get like a simple high top shoe, but it has the embellishment around the outside that kind of takes it to the next level. So these are the type of things that a young professional guy, when he's not wearing a suit, can wear. It's called 11 Paris. From Y3, you've got hoodies, bomber jackets, sweatpants, all more elevated. Mario, so we just walked the floor, we pulled some things, we got some inspiration, we got some things in your size. So this to me is a great example of something that's not in your closet already. And it shows a lot of style, it looks young. Should we call it Taylor? <laughs> Taylor, we yeah, have we a master Taylor, Taylor here. We need, we need Come on Taylor. out, tell us what you think. Yeah, man, I, I think um, it's definitely something that I don't have in my closet. You know, I noticed how, how long it was that uh -huh. you know, it went to the middle of my palm and then how it showed a little bit of the, the other length cup. Of this is so, a little bit yeah. shorter than what you have in your closet. Right, right, right. So it's, it's pretty much perfect fit, you know, and then and the waist um, feels pretty good as well. So, I mean, it's just a good suit. All right, so it's a completely different look for you. What do you think about this? Man, it feels really, really good, man. I, I, I like the fit of the pants. I'm, I'm loving this jacket. And then if you wanted to dress it up even further, rather than the puffer jacket, you could do a leather bomber jacket. Here's one from Dolce & Gabbana. It's really stepping up your game. Yeah, like you said, it's, it's a much elevated look, so it takes everything that I've been doing and just puts a little more personality on it, a little more life, mm -hmm. you know, a little more fashion. So you look like a million bucks, really. Thank you. First, we're going to see each other on the runway at the Taste of the Jets event. Oh yeah, we do have that. I feel more comfortable and I can't wait to apply some of those wonderful tips that you taught me. Alright man, hey. we'll see you there.